Hey there, colleague. Wanted to give you a quick update about the book club because I know you're enjoying emergency remote teaching and learning just as much as I am. And we got some books to read so that we are optimizing our readiness for the many challenges that face us when schools resume. However they resume, we know it's common. Phase two is common and we want to be better than ever when it does arrive. So we're reading these two books. Uh, you have selected one or the other or both. Natalie Wexler's The Knowledge Gap, David Dido's Making Kids Clever, Cleverer. Both books are fascinating pieces by thoughtful education thinkers. And I selected them because I think they'll give us a lot of great fodder for professional conversation. And then at the end of our reading and discussion, hopefully some really interesting and even inspiring next steps and applications and tweaks to our work, our work individually as in our, in our own uh, little roles and then our work collectively as people who are parts of teams and schools and districts and you know the, the overall educational endeavor. So if you haven't received the book yet, hopefully it's coming soon, all right? Uh, here's what you should be doing. If you haven't, start reading the book. Uh, I want you, as you read, to annotate purposefully. Now that's a way in the past callback to one of my posts in like 2014 or 15 um, uh, about purposeful annotation. The whole idea with purposeful annotation is um, we, we want to annotate in a way that makes sense with what we're trying to do with the book. And what you and I are trying to do with this book is um, we're trying to take in new knowledge to learn new things, okay? We're trying to take in new claims and to wrestle with those claims. And we're trying to synthesize all this with our views on education and our current strategies. And, and we're hoping to emerge from this stronger, better professionals. Okay, so um, specifically what I'm going to want you to do starting next week is to write about what you're finding. I want to use um, a, a method called TQE to guide our online discussion platform. Uh, TQE is from Marissa Thompson. She's a California educator and it's thoughts, questions, and epiphanies. I want you to annotate for your thoughts, the, the, the thoughts that the book provokes. These could be thoughts of how an idea connects with something that you're doing or a different book that you've read or um, contrasts with something else. Make note of anything that's interesting, any interesting thoughts, questions. What questions as you go through the book uh, continue to linger? Maybe they're questions about application, questions about obstacles that are not inside of your control. Great. Uh, epiphanies, where, where are the aha moments for you in the book? The light bulbs, make note of those, okay? Right now, this week, just, just dig into the text if you haven't yet and start to annotate for those TQEs. All right, next week, I'm gonna lay out for you a little, what I, what I hope is a very simple online discussion platform. It's, it, we're not gonna use social media for this. We're just gonna focus on uh, an online discussion platform that allows us to focus just on, on discussing um, our work and our making sense of these books. So that's coming next week. And as I'll explain next week, I, I would like you to contribute on that forum. Um, for one thing, you'll be serving others by sharing your thoughts, questions, and or epiphanies. Um, you'll also be serving others as you interact with their thoughts, questions, and epiphanies. And um, you'll also be serving yourself because we remember what we think about. And one of the best ways to help you remember your writing and be more permanently, sorry, to remember your reading and be more permanently shaped by it is to write about what you read, uh, especially for an audience. And so this, this online community will give you that audience of like-minded educators around the world. Okay, so read this week, annotate, and the next week, you'll be able to start to contribute to the online discussion platform. And then uh, a couple weeks in, I'll start to host, I don't know, we'll decide as a community, but um, some a semi-regular live, you know, 
maybe a Zoom or a Google Hangout or a Crowdcast, but, but some type of a, of a video thing where we can begin to discuss what these books might mean for our practice, okay? And then after a month or so, or maybe a month and a half, we'll just see what pace is humane for the bulk of us. Um, then, then we'll discuss what, what books might be next as we continue to build our expertise. Okay, so that's just an update I wanted to give you. If you got any questions, just email me, dave at davesertjr.com. Really excited that you're doing this. And have a good week.